Uh, this is Porter Thorndike with a demonstration of some of the new functionality we're introducing to the Web Focus Designer in release 9.3. So the first one I think is a big one, you know, in document mode that allows you to create pixel perfect documents that can be burst and distributed or have multiple page layouts. We've introduced the ability to create new content right from the canvas. So you used to be able to just reference it and now we think this is a much better workflow right from the canvas to be able to add a new chart. And I'm just going to select a source of data here first. Go with retail samples. That's going to give me a report or chart object. And I'm just going to make this nice and simple here. I'm going to create a chart that is showing me revenue by month. One of the other things we introduced, the ability to edit the headings of these documents. A lot of times you might want to embed variables into the headings, okay? So you're going to see what I do later when I coordinate this document. It could be useful to see something like the product category in that type, uh, in that heading. So I can embed that into the heading. And then the other thing that we introduced to document mode, the coordinate function, one of my favorite functions or pieces of functionality because it'll, it allows you to burst and distribute based on a value or to create a new page layout based on that. So if you're doing an investor statement, you might coordinate it based on inv investor ID, um, but you could also do something like, hey, let's say I want a different chart burst by that product category on each page. So very simple example. Those of you that have used this a lot in the past will appreciate its value. Now, if I run it, you're gonna see what I get is I get that chart but it is coordinated based on the value of the product category, and then you get a unique page for each one, okay? So this works for a one-page document, it works for a seven-page document, whatever you want. We've got accessories on page one, camcorder page two, computers page three. So three big pieces of functionality added to document mode. The other thing that we introduced to all modes of designer is the ability to visually customize set commands. So. You may be familiar with these. One that I used a lot was as names. That was, you know, if I had a master file or a metadata description, I wanted it to display something like the title instead of the actual field name. That was one that I used a lot. There's a lot in here. You can just turn these on or off and customize the setting as well. So that's what we did for compose mode or document mode within the designer. We introduced some other cool things that we know people like a lot, which is, these are kind of some interactive settings that we've introduced in reports. So if I've got a simple report like this, one is accordion. And what accordion gives you is it will give you expand and collapse functionality. So it'll roll it up at the highest level and then you can expand and collapse. And you can have as many levels as you want. This is a pretty simple example, just two levels. Now another one that's similar is called table of contents. So this is really useful if you've got a large report and this can be useful in terms of navigation. Okay, so it's still got the expand collapse, but this, if you had a long report, you could actually navigate or filter to that part of the report with the table of contents. And then the other one that I know our customers have loved for a long time is Pages On Demand. What I think is the best thing about Pages On Demand, it gives you a viewer that allows you to page through, but also lets you do, you know, do some additional things. My favorite thing is the search function. So some people have reports that are hundreds or thousands of pages long and will allow you to actually, so this is a short report, not the best example, but it will allow you to search for something that would take you to the page that that search criteria is on. So those are some things that we introduced to the designer, some other things that we introduced to the designer. We know that a lot of customers want to create compound documents in Excel right so not just maybe a tabular report you might not want to have multiple reports and charts on a specific page layout that's something we've supported in the past and here's an output example of a compound report in excel okay so you can see report here report here chart here you might have different page layouts on different pages as well so multiple pages multiple reports and charts per page what we introduced in 9.3 is the code support for that, okay? So you can see in this example, this might look familiar to those of you that have opened up some of these reports. We're just specifying the position. So the code support supports this now and in the next release, what you'll see is graphical support to create this. It might be its own mode of document mode or something like that targeted towards Excel. 
So we get that. And that is excellent. And for some of you, maybe the biggest thing in this release is many of you may have been creating reports and charts in Info Assist and you want to be able to open those in the designer. Okay, so as we look at my example here called Join Report, I'm gonna open this up. This was created in Info Assist. <clears throat> now what's cool about this is really anything that you could do in Info Assist will then be interpreted and rendered within the designer. And just to show you, this report actually has a join in it, okay? So this report created in InfoSyst, if I wanna open this in designer, notice I have the edit with designer option. Okay, now when we get this into designer, even though designer's got a little different workflow, a better workflow, you'll notice as I go to the data tab, it has correctly interpreted the join as I go back to visualization, I've got the report and I can just continue to customize that report as I see fit. And the last thing that I'm gonna show you is some really nice capabilities we've added to the geospatial mode within the designers. We go into the settings and we pick data layer. We've introduced a number of things. One is that you can use your own themes. So if you have custom themes, they will now apply to the maps. But the coolest thing I think is that specific series we can assign specific shapes to and moreover than just you know your most common shapes custom shapes okay so you're looking at some json code we could use json code we could customize the color and we can also use images okay so for the united states i'm going to actually select an image we're going to browse to it and i've got an example of a shield right here and i'm going to apply this and you'll see what we get so based on the value we can get those custom icons and shapes. Pretty cool, right? Now, just a couple other things that we've got here is we go into the settings as we've added the ability to support drill downs within maps as well. So if you wanna drill from something like state to city or from country to state, we can customize that as well. This has been Porter Thorndike with a demonstration of the new designer functionality in release 9.3.